But first up, we are three days into the great state takeover of the unemployment call center. And what do we have? Well, problems, possibly more of them, according to some claimants. Thanks so much for joining us on TV, Android TV, or wherever you're streaming us. I'm Ross DiMattei. Todd and Tricia have the night off. 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears has been holding Dieter's feet to the fire, trying to get you paid. And tonight, she turns up the heat once again. example that they don't give a f about us man been on hold for seven hours same song second verse more unemployment frustration even though Dieter terminated its contract with the Lorica and took over the Pua call center this week a move that was supposed to be a step in the right direction and then what you're going to see is more people paid less people frustrated and less people getting a busy signal because we're actually, you know, getting the services to them. Didn't work that way for Joe Marquise. He's been calling since Monday. There's the, I don't know if you can see the time. I that can I've, see it. It's, since 8 a.m. It's been, it's been on uh, the loop. And that's the good news. Before it was just busy signals and um, disconnections. Social media is filled with frustration. Come on, man, this is the fifth. This is the day they were supposed to take over. Uh, Dita was supposed to take over their call center again with uh, those 200 reps. Hold times of seven to eight hours or more are being reported all across the valley. Their phone system doesn't even work. Give me a break. I tried, I, man, I'm Johnny on the spot. I tried 8 a.m. exactly every day. Not, can't get through. The new reps they just hired that started this week. I was on hold the other day for seven hours and 39 minutes and 29 seconds. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. With a painful punchline. We need that money. What am I supposed to do? The answer, be patient and wait. Dieter says the call center's current quagmire is due to the phones transferring back to Dieter with higher than expected call volumes adding to the challenge. But that's just one problem. Dieter promised the call center takeover would provide competent staff with access and authority to fix claims and explain payment delays. Well, basically, Darcy, nothing's changed. This is the same thing we've been hearing since the beginning. The call center operations are now under Dieter direction, and though there's no more third-party call center contract, there are contract workers, both in and out of state. They're employed by a company called Maximus. Dieter director Elisa Caffarata says they're helping bridge the gap until the state can hire and train more Dieter staff, which takes time under state hiring rules. For Dan Warner... And it's the same as before. You know, there's nobody with any authority to do anything. Dieter says claimants need to know that agents cannot resolve every issue immediately, but they will be working with other staff to follow through and resolve problems. They add that claimants will not have to wait several weeks for a response because new staff have been assigned to follow up and resolve claims much more quickly. Well, the changes haven't done any good for anybody. Dieter acknowledges during this first week of taking over the call center, some claims representatives will need more guidance, but as they gain more experience, they'll be able to help more claimants. One other thing to note, call center staff cannot answer questions about appeals. Those claims are assigned to appeals staff. Dieter says it expects to start scheduling PUA appeals hearings in the next three weeks. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.